Okay, in video number two, I want to take a step back and look at the trend function in more detail. Behind this function is the formula y equals mx plus b. So y is the new value that I want. In other words, it's 6.18, the value we already calculated in video number one. m is the slope of the line, which is rise over run. x is the predictor value which in that first scenario is 55 and B is the y-intercept and to solve for this I need to solve for y by finding the values to the right of the equal sign first I'm going to find the slope by using the slope function so equal slope select all my known y's comma select all my known X's and push enter and then I'm going to change this to an absolute function scroll down here next I'm going to find the y-intercept by using the intercept function So again, I'm going to select the known y's, comma, select the known x's, change the arguments to absolute values, and scroll down here. So the slope is 0 0.077, and the y-intercept is 1.948. And now I can solve for y and find the new values. So equals the slope times the predictor plus the y-intercept. So the new value is 6.18. I scroll the formula down here. And I can see they all match 6.18, 6.18, and so forth. Now I can also get this formula from the trend line here. So if I select the chart, I go to layout, trend line, more trend line options, display equation on chart, close, so y equals 0 0.077, which is the slope, x is the predictor, plus 1.948, which is the y-intercept. And all right, that's the trend function in a little more detail. Thank you.